Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Plants vs. Zombies 2. So I figured I'd do something a little different today. I'm going to read the almanac. Now, I obviously can't do every single thing, because look. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to do a little chunk of it, as well as the zombies. So how the almanac works, it basically tells you what everybody does. And you get a funny little piece of lore or funny joke. So here's the sunflower. After the release of her first major YouTube video, Zombies on Your Lawn, Sunflower's YouTube channel has been bursting with fun. She is currently putting the final touches on her reality TV pitch, Sunflower Thinks She Can Dance. All right, next. <clears throat> What's it like being famous? Asked the pea shooter while sipping his bottled water. I can't talk right now. I'm finishing my merchandising deal. Hold my fur coat. Walnut. Having retired from his days as a champion in bowler in the pro leagues, Walnut is looking forward to a real challenge on the front lines of home defense. Defense! Defense! Nice little walnut bowling reference. Potato mine. Believe it or not, Spadow did not happen overnight. Having been forced to try out new catchphrases and focus testing as many variations as possible. Tubular? Really? Potato mine weeded out the competition to stick with what he knows best. Bloomerang. As the first new member to your home defense team, Bloomerang enjoys long walkabouts with his friend Koala Bear and listening to his Bob, listening to his Bob, Bob Barley albums out back. Can't say I've ever heard of Bob Barley. I'll check him out. Cabbage Pult. Cabbage Pult received his doctrine in Pulting from Harvest University. He knows a thing or two about launching his way to the top. He also makes a mean soup. Cabbage soup? Iceberg lettuce. Don't get lost staring into Iceberg's adorably cute eyes. If you do, it will be your last step. But only if you're a zombie. Gravebuster. He may appear spiky or ill-tempered, but Gravebuster just wants to give you a big hug. Unless you're a puppy, he's terrified of those. Twin Sunflower. Twin Sunflower's super chick line of ultra expensive sunglasses has been a huge hit wherever she goes. Due to this, she has been unable to travel without being swarmed by the paparazzi. Just a quick side note is the paparazzi like the group? What do you call one paparazzi? Is it a paparazzi? Bonk Choi. A freelance dentist on the side. He's offering a special this month. He'll knock two of your teeth out for the price of one. Repeater. Everyone always asks me if I've met before, says Repeater. Everyone always asks me if I've met before. Or if we've met before. Wait, did I just say that? Oh, and by the way, these are different from what they say in the original almanac. They changed it. Snow pea. As a, as a professional table tennis player, a.k.a. ping pong, in the off-season, he also enjoys skiing, playing the bongos, and spelunking. Spelunking? Don't know what that is. Colonel Pult. While working as an usher at the local movieplex, he saw fried green tomatoes and found his higher calling. He packed up his husks, his kernels, his butter, and enlisted. Snapdragon. Although the most powerful dragon in the plant kingdom, he still dreams of wings and seeing the world beneath him. Spikeweed. Although Spikeweed grew up on the seedy side of town, his acupuncture business has been blooming. Coconut Cannon. Sure, he's a hairy old man, but Coconut Cannon can still fire on all cylinders. The reason he's so hairy, 
He's in between waxings. Cherry Bomb. The Cherry Bomb brothers attempted to start their own band. We tried to figure out what the sound would be, but we kept explodinating speakers, stages, fans, and of course, zombies. Look for our LP next year. Springbean. He is the strong, silent type, and little is known about Springbean. What is known, though, his fan club is a million followers strong, and the ladies love him. Spike Rock. Being the most metal plant, Spike Rock has decided to hold his ultimate metal plant concert at Madison Rock Garden. Tickets have been sold out for many harvests. Three Peter. Three Peter loves playing multiplayer in video games, but split screen never works out because the left head always cheats. Squash. Squash is actually his stage name. His birth name was Tracy. Was Tracy, so he changed it. Split P. It's my turn with the eyebrows, said Fronty. Fine, we'll split them, said Backy. Sprouted two minutes apart, their eyebrow war is eternal. Chili Bean. He's not blushing, he's just trying to hold it in. Torchwood. Torchwood and Snapdragon have become fast friends. They like to hang out at either the Tiki Lounge or the Renaissance Fair. Lightning Reed. This may come as a shock, but Lightning Reed has a serious passion for ham radio. His call sign is Electric Hiccup. You can tune in every Tuesday to hear him read the classics to elderly plants. This week, Seeds and Sensibility. Tallnut. Tallnut is opening a chain of stores for tall and taller gentlemen. I'll shell out the savings to you. Jalapeno. The jalapeno is one spicy character by day and the macrum vigilante by night. You might be wondering what his secret weapon is. It's knots. Peapod. Having studied quantum special mechanics in clown college, Peapod has been amusing families of all ages. Melon Pult. Everyone says my head looks like a melon, said the middle child of the Pult family. And they would be right. Don't ask him if he's seedless or not, though. It offends him, and frankly, it's none of your business. Wintermelon. You may recognize Wintermelon's voice from such incredible documentaries as It's Cold Up Here, Ice Bingo, and Surfing Swedes. Imitator. Having studied French theater at Giulieni, the imitator went to the streets with his art and has perfected his technique he calls Potato Stuck in a Box. Marigold. Marigold has dedicated herself to the Zen lifestyle. She's a team player and gives it her best there in the garden. But if she never has to confront another zombie on the lawn again, it will be too soon. Laser Bean. After a laser eye surgery, surgery had gone horribly right, Laser Bean gained a sense of purpose and a new found affinity for competitive staring contests. Blover. The luckiest stunt clover around, Blover is the most recent recipient of the Stunty Award. You can see his work in Bulb Fiction, Rudy, and Finding Flower. He also teaches a stunt class on Tuesdays at the community center. Citron. As the owner and primary user of Vitamin CU Later 20-hour energy shots, Citron is always on the ready and is ready for action. Let's make this happen. E.M. Peach. He has grown tired of people lazily calling him EMP. There's a C and an H in there for a reason, people, and I've got the stone to prove it. Starfruit. A uh, quick note, I just acquired Starfruit. I finally got all the seed packets for him. Just a small town fruit that has traveled to the big city and has found his way to the future. His favorite modes of transportation, conveyor belts, hoverboards, and rockets. Wee. Infinite. As a young nut, he spent way too much time standing between two mirrors and trying to look into infinity. 
magnifying grass. Magnifying grass understands the inherent power of a rainbow. Beneath her stoic features, she takes great joy in delivering radiant multicolored destruction to the zombie horde. Tile Turnip. DJ Tile Turnip changes dance floors with his underground hit, Turn Up the Beat. What's his latest mix? When he lays it down, you'll feel the power. Hypno Shroom. Hypno Shroom has no trouble persuading zombies to fight on behalf of the plants, but he has yet to convince one to cluck like a chicken. One day, he says, one day. <clears throat> All right, let's switch over to the zombies. Basic zombie. Basic zombie hates the term basic. He doesn't consider himself some generic foe or common corpse. He's an individual, darn it, and he's going to make a difference even if it kills you. Conehead. After a wild night, Conehead zombie woke up holding a mysterious receipt for a cone and industrial strength adhesive. Buckethead. There was a time when Buckethead Zombie was hailed as a zombie genius for his innovative bucket-on-head strategy. It's been a few years, though, and zombies wonder if he's got any surprises left. His secret? He doesn't. Brickhead Zombie, which is a stronger version of Buckethead and Magnet Shroom does not work on him. Brickhead. After consultation with various storybook wolves, it was determined that straw helmets and wood helmets were not up to snuff, and that brick helmets had to be seriously considered. Imp. What he lacks in reach, he more than makes up for with his bad attitude, or zombatitude, as he likes to call it. Don't encourage him. <coughs> what is this? Ugh, sorry. <clears throat> Fall's coming. Allergies are coming. Gargantuar. Gargantua really is kind of a big deal. He is the embodiment of power made real. He is a juggernaut of hunger from which there is no escape. He is fear unleashed. Well, he's fear slightly leashed. If you look closely, he's got a leash around his neck. Probably held by the imp. Vase Gargantua. The ceramic confines of the Vase Gargantua's home has done nothing to his endless hunger, his immense power, or his vast destructive potential. However, his foot speed could be better. Mummy zombie. Is he a mummy? Is he a zombie? Turns out he's a zombie who rolled himself in toilet paper to protect his fair skin. True fact. Conehead mummy. Conehead mummy zombie prefers the circular cone shape over the typical pyramid shape. It's a fashion thing, and conehead mummy zombie always stays ahead of fashion. Bucket Mummy. Bucket Mummy Zombie graduated Manga Zom Louder from Zombie Academy, where he learned to utilize his diaphragm during groaning lessons. Pyramid Zombie. Pyramid Zombie isn't aware that his pyramid is pyramid shaped. He's a little slow in that respect. Well, that's rude. Flag Mummy. Egyptian Flag Zombie is so far behind, he thinks he's in first place. He's clearly living in denial. But um, tsh. Rally zombie. So rally zombies are like faster flag zombies. Sometimes a regular flag mummy zombie simply isn't enough to inspire the desired amount of terror and disgust. In these instances, upgrading to the Egypt rally zombie isn't the sensible choice. It's the only choice. Raw zombie. Ra Zombie isn't actually named after the sun god Ra, though that's a common mistake. He just likes to say Ra a lot. Camel Zombies Each Camel Zombie is an excellent ballroom dancer, practicing every day by holding up a mysterious sign with strange symbols. They call it the Camel Dance. Explorer Zombie His impressive, friendly mutton chops have always kept food in them for weeks making sure his explorations are filled with snacks. Torchlight Zombie Torchlight Zombie has no fear of the dark. That's not because he's always got a torch, however, but rather because, as a zombie, he has no capacity for fear in the first place. Tomb Razor Zombie 
He dreams about playing fetch, running for the brains. He loves burying himself in the yard and is not yet indoor trained. He's still looking for his tail. Pharaoh Zombie. The second cousin, once removed, of King Rot. He rose to power with his disappearing sarcophagus act, but met his untimely end in an unfortunate goat accident. His tale is told in great detail on the back of his sarcophagus, which no one will ever see. Imp Mummy. Imp Mummy prefers to laze around the tomb, hop up on the urns, and scratch at the sarcophagi. The sound of him coughing up a hairball is one you will never forget. Mummified Gargantuar. True fact number one, the pyramids were built in an attempt to make mummified Gargantuar seem small. It didn't work. True fact number two, the Sphinx isn't missing its nose. That is the face of Gargantuar. Zombot Sphinxinator. To add that extra bit of wickedness to the Sphinxinator Dr. Zombot chiseled his creation from the stonework of cursed tombs. You should not take this instance of reuse and recycle to mean he's going green. The only thing green about him is his tongue. Pirate Zombie. Keeping up with the latest pirate trends is always tricky, but remember, he was planking before it was cool. Conehead Pirate. Conehead Pirate is a simple zombie. When asked what his favorite dish is, he think for a moment, straighten his ascot, and say, Rudder brains. Perhaps he could borrow a cup, neighbor? Buckethead Pirate. Buckethead Pirate Zombie is looking for his bucket. Have you seen it? It's where? Up where? Speak up. He can't hear you. Barrelhead Zombie. Dredged from the deepest of seas, Barrelhead Zombie's barrel is high-quality cask that fits just a bit too snugly. Flag Pirate. A zombie that needs no introduction. Jolly Roger Zombie. Jolly Roger Zombie and his flag are fused together into a single brain-munching unit. Their teamwork is an inspiration to ghouls everywhere. Swashbuckler. He swashes, he buckles, but he also writes home every third Sunday and sends brains and treasures via post. He's a good zombie at heart. Seagull Zombie. Seagull Zombie has racked up the frequent flyer miles and dreams of going to the top colleges in the world on a cerebral gastronomy vacation. Pelican Zombie. The Pelican Zombie upgraded from the Seagull Zombie and has no regrets. No egrets either. Just a pelican. Barrel Roller Zombie. Barrel Roller is a part of the Super Underground Secret Awesome Club. You probably haven't heard of it. Also, his left arm is slightly longer than his right arm. Imp Pirate Zombie. He was a boot black with a side trade as a pickpocket on the streets of London. But all he stole was oversized footwear. Time to steal some booty was his catchphrase. Imp Cannon. The imps joined in order of the Cannon Fraternity, Kappa P, and quickly rose through the ranks due to the constant firing of their leadership. Pirate Captain Zombie. Pirate Captain isn't actually a captain. His dry cleaning got mixed up with someone else's, but he thought he looked cool with an eye patch. Plus, the parrot already knew his name, so he just went with it. Zombie Parrot. He's a third-generation aviation revolutionary. He wants to serve his pirate brethren like his father and his grandmother, Salty and before him. Pirate Gargantuar. Gargantuar Pirate likes short walks off the plank, moonlit raiding parties, and the smell of cannon fire. A true romantic. Zombot Plank Walker. Hoist the Mizamast, batten down the hatches. Fifteen zombies on a dead man's boat. Yo ho ho and a bucket of brains. 
Dr. Zomboss has to admit he was really getting into this whole pirate thing. Thought he would never be on a boat. Or he thought he would never be on a boat. Cowboy Zombie. Cowboy Zombie thinks he's the roughest, toughest, meanest zombie variant in or varmint in the West, South, and East. He's anxious to test his skills in the Central Coast region. Conehead Cowboy. The sheriff of these here parts, please pull over the horse and pull out your driver's license, registration, and proof of brains. Buckethead Cowboy. A five-time winner of the Temporal Chili Cook-Off. Those Egyptian zombies don't know they're chili, but cowboys love their beans. The more you eat, the more you brains. Carthead. Carthead could probably move a lot faster if he did a handstand and rolled, but he's not thinking that far ahead. Flag Cowboy. The lone brainer leads the way. Cowboy Rally Zombie. Arrows point to the brain on Cowboy's rally flag, as if to say, Hey everyone, I would like to emphasize this image, its canny design. Prospector. There was once a zombie who got old, spending all his day looking for gold, till one day in the rain, he finally ate brains, and... Wait, where's his other shoe? Pianist Zombie. Pianist Zombie only knows two songs, and they're both groaners. Poncho Zombie. The grate is his most prized possession. The poncho is just there to protect it from getting rusty. Also, he's looking for his mechanical horse. Chicken Wrangler Zombie. After publishing the fourth study on ornithology and four years of research at the Hardin Colvider, Chicken Wrangler Zombie has finally solved the riddle of what came first. So which is it? Doesn't say. Zombie Chicken. Bacock! Zombie Bull. He's not an angry bull. He loves flowers, playing in the fields, sitting under trees, and long walks across the pasture. He wants to settle down when he meets the right cow. Too bad he's a robot. Rodeo Legend. Legend, perhaps, overstates Rodeo Legend Zombie's status in the rodeo world. Don't tell him that, though, unless you're desperate to hear an hour-long tirade about calf roping. Zombie Bull Rider. He dreams of becoming a rodeo clown, but found the clown makeup just too creepy. Wild West Gargantuar. Likes candy. All right, and this is the last one we're going to do. Zombot War Wagon. Ranchers and farmhands, abandon your fields. Rumbling down the dusty trail, this wagon was engineered to strike fear into the heart of any horticulturist who should encounter it. Dr. Zomboss normally doesn't take any bull, but this time he made an exception. All right, so that's all the time that we have today. Maybe eventually one day I will go back and read more. But for now, we're going to stop right there. So I hope you enjoyed this different approach. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.